Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Suicide What is the Guy. Last episode, we got one more villain is dead. Yup, the thing got, got decapitated by Katana. So, yeah, Katana is definitely going to be a very... Uh, I, guess, I think it's going to be like a, a, a mini boss. Yeah, the, the last boss before the last boss. <laughs> yeah, she's going to be the last obstacle before the Emperor herself. And then, of course, the, you know, the queen from the country as well. All of them. Yikes. Anyway, yes, uh, out of the, you know, the previous, the previous, um, you know, group, the villain group, we got Grudge Catcher dead. The Thinker is now also dead because we still have the Killer Croc, uh, Enchantress, Katana, and there's and, uh, someone else, uh, I think. I think there's I think there's more villain, but they haven't shown up yet, so who knows. But anyway, yeah, two, two out of them are now dead. So anyway, yeah, hope you enjoy, and if you do, then please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and drop a comment to help with the YouTube algorithm. And the support kind of appreciated. Also, hit that bell icon, you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want early access to all my reactions, uncensored, unfiltered, and uncut, then please check out my Patreon for only $5 a month. Other than that, let's go. Alright. Oh, yeah, they are spying on him. Uh, they are spying on him all due to the, the weird glass thing. Wow, they really discussed whether or not the the work is a. Yeah, they are discuss whether or not they you know they get they are, they are, you know help the helping with the with the kingdom is uh, useful or not. Oh, like uh, they trying to please the queen, but also at the same time they also want to you know pray for the effort, you know. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, we still have not yet known what the Queen is actually planning. But uh, something tells me she did not want the, the war to end. Hmm. I, I, I don't trust that. She is creepy. Alright, back to the castle. We end up going back on our own. We didn't actually got captured or anything like that. Nice. Hey, is the dragon look a little bigger to you? I think she's growing, like, fast. Uh, well, the, um, I don't know. Um, you destroyed the Thinker Fortress, but... The fortress was never, no, they never asked you to, so, so I don't think the goal would ever destroy the fortress at, at all. And also, they, you guys kind of terrorize a bunch of elves too. Alright, let's see how she going to react. Yeah, no, there's no party for you guys, unfortunately. There's only judge. A lot of judging. Yeah, you, you guys, you know, tell, you guys literally told them to come back. So, of course, and then, you know, they came back. And now you ask them, well, how dare you came back? Bro, fuck off. Seriously, the queen need, need, need to get overthrown by the princess already. Like, she make a better uh, ruler than her. Sheesh. All right, they gotta use that thing to uh, go against them. Cool. They are enemy of the elf, so I don't think they don't mean jack shit. Right now, the racism is uh, racism is going to grow through.
Yeah. Yeah, you, I don't think you should uh, raise your voice against her. Oh boy, I think that's gonna bring back a lot of uh, bad memories. Like a lot of memories. <laughs> Woo! Should have just swallowed him! Damn! You know, he's just gonna call you back, right? Yeah, they learn. Also, the comment about you know her makeup is kind of whack because that her the, the makeup is only the the part with the heart and the eye thing, but the, the whole skin, unless you know, it's like the um, uh, unless the it's like the DC animated movie, like the Batman animated world. Then, uh, yeah, that was makeup, but in this world, I think her, her skin did got bleached white. Like, they just bleached her white. <laughs> Shit, yeah, we gotta talk my magic to deal with. Yeah, uh, so he see the one who you know asked him uh, as asked him to provoke them because she know that it end up he end up going to attack and kill him, and she gonna use an excuse to uh, execute them. So yeah, um, I think because you know, again the Suicide Squad is uh, starting to uh, meddling with her plan somehow by I guess by actually able to prevent the war, and that is not something she want. Like for for some reason I could feel that she just want to that, that war to happen, like really badly. Like uh, she just want you know um, the elf and the beastman to actually work uh, to actually you know co co exist with each other. They want to actually kind of excuse for what happened to eradicate them. So when they actually able to prevent that from happening, they she started to freak out like freak the fuck out. It's that is crazy, man. But yeah, now so now she can put any excuse as possible to get rid of, get rid of them. I mean, it's not great. Pick up. Seriously, stand up to her. You have to, you have, don't have like magic on the own. Yeah, like you know, like you know, 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 you Seriously, uh, if any guy had power, just show up already. She's, we only see um, Clayface, um, Nonoi, and Charlie you, using the power, you know, like the power pop up, and they've been barely using it at all. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, um, King Shark already have a healing ability, so unless he got injured, that's not gonna activate. But then uh, Clayface is pretty much uh, able to use his, his new power uh, effectively now. So that's nice, but Holly and then Holly Deathshot Peacemaker. For some reason, there there's no no power for them to, to uh, for the, for them to activate. Like shut up. Is, is it because they just normal human and not enhanced human? Is that why? Is not because it's not you know come enhanced some kind of way because Clayface and Nanai King Shark is um kind of mutated people. So and then Holly is also enhanced by some kind of sh uh, by the, the the chemicals I think. And some kind of kind of um some kind of serum later on that enhance her abilities to make her stronger, faster than regular human. Is so is that the reason why only three of them only three of them activate their powers, uh, or or have some kind of magic abilities? Is that why? I I honestly don't know. But uh again uh we don't don't know how Holly actually activate her, her power because uh the the only time she actually you know her power activate is when she holds that big ass club wand thing. Otherwise no. She even swing her bat and nothing happened. So yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's time to go rescue King Shark, right? Bust him out and shit. Yeah, she's scared. She's a coward.
Damn, yeah, that's gonna be hard to hear. But you left her back, back behind? Why? You have to leave your weapon back. The fuck? Okay. But so, we will try to rescue King Shark, right? You know, bust him out. Are you guys really getting drunk right now? Dude, uh, that, that dude look like the guy from Soul Online. Yeah, seriously, you guys are literally having a party while King Shark is getting executed. Or, or getting ready to get executed. You do. That just. That's just gonna. Of course, he's doing a Terminator reference. But then, you know, that's just gonna freak them out, right? Nobody gonna want to hang out with a guy who can melt into mud. Nobody gonna impress by that, dumbass. Okay, also, nobody nobody in this world gonna get what you are referencing. It's a Terminator movie from Earth. You are a guy are not you are not in on Earth. So of course you're not gonna know that dumbass. Yeah. Oh, she took the gem from the, the armor. Oh, maybe the, the Oh wait, hang on, maybe that gem Oh god, I, I freeze at the the um <laughs> at the, the worst uh, worst time ever. Shit, wrong wrong angle. Hang on. Put up, put up, put up, put up. There we go. Yeah. Um. Maybe that gem she still end up able to activate her power somehow. Hmm. You know, uh, that gem have maybe have a some kind of mana in, inside of it. Resources. Yeah. That could be a hard time because, you know, I don't think they could give it freely. Oh yeah, Holly is definitely drunk. Man, some of the angle and faces that they draw is very interesting. <laughs> Aww, how cute. Look at them playing with the, what the hell is that, a griffin? Well, I mean, if you if your print drumming is a psychopath, then that's for sure. Yeah, your print drumming, but if your print drumming is a psychopath who likes to, to uh, just commit crime because he wants to, or I guess because he see it fun, with no other reason at all. Man! Yeah, I had to definitely had to mute this. For copyright, man. But still, he, he... Nice voice though. Yeah, damn. But that is an interesting looking violent though. Like the, the way it's... Uh... Hmm. Hmm? Wait, are they talking... Uh, are they singing about you guys? Damn, okay, he just, uh, just harassed the singer for some... He just, he just wants to make a living, man! Why did he have to harass him? Jesus! Oh, and now they have a fucking conflict. Start to fighting? My god, the facial, the facial feature they draw, sometimes looks so freaky, like, Jesus! Oh, come on! Do you guys really have a fucking fight conflict? 
Wow, you are lucky. No, 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 Oh, what the fuck? Why is he naked? Oh, and of course you have to, uh, you mentioned her makeup. Also, again, why the fuck are you half naked? With your pants? Wow, even she's scared. Oh yeah, uh, also nice, nice, uh, nice sensors. Um, I don't think it's a good idea for you guys to drink that. It's alcohol. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Okay, so um, if you guys don't know, uh, Peacemaker is actually voiced by the Jin, um, by the same voice actor that voiced Dio from Jojo, you know, the jo Jojo vs. Avenger. So, uh, <laughs> I like that. I like how he's, he's sneaking a little bit of reference, Jojo, Jojo reference, by doing the muda, 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 muda. <laughs> in the background there. Oh, that's so cool. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna, you know, show the, the audio a little bit there so you can, you can listen. Now, there, see? See? You can hear say Muda 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 right there before you know uh, Flagface got hit by, by Mud. You can hear Muda Muda Muda. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Oh, that's cute. They may seem he seem like a friend. <laughs> oh, you left him? Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah, that uh, that boy guy, you know, <laughs> that owner of Super Depressed because they completely wrecked and didn't pay for any of the, the damage at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not really. You guys experience sucks. Um, well, I mean, I don't think you guys you guys are going to leave him behind for long. He is getting executed. Yeah. Uh oh, he's not blinking. Oh, there we go. Oh boy. Yeah, he gotta report everything and I wonder how Amanda gonna react to this. Okay, so one uh one 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 thing I wanna ask uh, why the fuck did they make the gate so high up? Like is, is that what what you know what the location was when it spawned spawn in? Can they somehow able to like manipulate it and blow it down somehow? No? Oh wait, because they fly too using a helicopter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, what? Oh my god. Uh, in a manner term, when handle it, I mean just blow it up and kill them. That's it. Uh oh. Hey! Um, it's a good thing she activate the clay face first, because again, he may out of clay. Unless you act deactivate his power, if we blow up his head, he's still gonna reform back. So, yeah. Okay, I don't think you guys need to re 
reshot that shot and redo that shot in multiple angles many, many times. Don't worry, again, you may have clay, you're gonna reform back. And now. Wait, what? Hey, no, 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 I think no, it's gone. So he is he already dead or something happened that make his bomb Oh Look look like um look like the climax is coming. Seriously, uh, I don't know how you know this anime is going to end. Like we have so many different enemies, so how are we gonna deal with them all? Especially Amanda. Because you're good guys. Yeah, see, I told you he's gonna be fine. I like how I like how um, a peacemaker is also you know shocked, but he completely still well just uh, just shake a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> he he's shocked, but he just won't show it. So yeah, now Clayface is bomb free and he can just walk away. Yeah, so the only reason, reason why he can, you know, follow and do all this shit is that it's because he wants to be the main protagonist, which he's not. Hey! <laughs> Okay, wow, this looks so weird. Like, why does it look so small? Yay. We screw. Two hours? Wow, okay, the guy running for two hours straight? Oh, wait, no, two hours ago. Why is there a light to keep shining towards her? Okay, so I wonder who, what happened that make, whoa. Oh, okay, so I guess we're about to find out what happened that made the whole, uh, whole castle on fire. Whoa, shit. Yeah, she is, she getting more unhinged. Oh my god! That not the queen? Whoa! So that's not the queen, that's somebody else. So either the queen got re you know got got, uh, got replaced or is somebody is something is possessing her. Fuck. So yes. Yeah, so, so I guess she was not bad uh, in the first place. I mean, she's still bad uh, when she was a uh, when you know the princess was a kid a couple of years ago, you know, when um she you know really really abused her daughters, but now I, I guess somehow she got possessed by that, that devil looking thing. Oh, is, is that the emperor? Oh, so she have been playing too shy the whole time. 
holy shit! So the emperor have been, you know, have been playing the other side and then go, go back here and possess the queen and play on this side, human side as well. So, okay, so that's how we get rid of both of them at the same time because they are because they are the same people at the same time. If we get get rid of the emperor or we somehow you know kill the queen, then the other one we we only have to deal with the uh, the devil looking the devil skeleton looking ladies here. Yeah. I have no clue who she is. Is she an original character for this world? Uh, oh yeah, I guess it is. But damn, that is a, a twist. Huh. She is a possessed queen. Wow. All right. I wonder if they're able to exercise her or exorcise her. Yeah, exorcise her out and, you know, free her from the control. Or maybe it's, maybe, maybe, maybe she's not control, but she, uh, she made some kind of deal. Oh, there's one more possibility though that she is not being controlled, but that is just who she is. Like what that is what she looked like in real life. She has been disguised as human the whole time, like from the very beginning. So and now she just started to show herself, something like that. Yeah, that's gonna be a shock. So yeah, that is episode eight, and, and uh, yeah, based on what we you know see so far, I guess we only have two episodes left. Because the thing looks like it's reaching the climax soon, like very soon, because the whole castle is being attacked. We are reaching the climax very quickly. Oh boy! Something tell me though that two episodes later, the conflict is not going to be resolved. Because if you know, if it's going to be resolved, and we have to somehow take down the, the queen and the emperor, who I guess is the one who possessing her at the same time. And so that way, the only way who actually able to get rid of all of them. That, uh, and somehow able to capture all the villains that escaped before before Harley Quinn and the, the, the gang. Uh, capture them, bring them back, and yeah. Uh, and somehow also have to deal with Amanda as well. Like we had to try to find someone to escape from her. From her, you know, from damn thing. That could... But uh, something tell me the, the season is going to end with them able to c complete their mission. Go back to the, the, the human world, uh, you know, their world, the DC world. And then just go back into the, the jail shell and then some kind of tease for season 2 or something. But uh... I don't think season two is going to be happening because based on what the the the, the response for the, the the series, I don't think it's going to be good enough for a season two, unfortunately. So whatever end I think season one is going to be that, that's it. That is going to be the whole storyline. Or I don't know, maybe maybe somehow they are able to convince them to squeeze in another season, and maybe with a better budget a little bit this time, huh? Anyway, if you guys made it this far, then please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and drop a comment to help with the YouTube algorithm. It is support I kindly appreciate it. But now, until next time, bye!